Hi guys, today I have a review on the Baby Skin by Maybelline and this is what it looks like right here. And this is from their Baby Skin. They used to have the baby, they have the Baby Lips line and this is now a new product, the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And this was $6.99. I found it at CVS and it was just sitting on the display inside of this packaging right here. And what the packaging says is that you get poreless, smooth looking skin. And it shows a little picture right here of what your skin looks like before. I guess those would be your pores. And this is kind of the effect that you get with the product so you can see that they're kind of blurred out on the back it says that it's an instant pore eraser it blurs the look of your pores without clogging them it's a transparent gel formula that goes on completely clear it smooths and refines skin's appearance and it's non-comedogenic non and fragrance free so it says you can use it alone for flawless looking skin or you can use it underneath your makeup in a thin layer to kind of give you a smooth canvas for your foundation to go on. So this has the cutest packaging ever. I absolutely love the baby turquoise color and it just has a screw off tap, cap, just tap, cap, and then you just kind of um, squeeze it out and you get this clear gel formula. It is a very thick silicone formula and it just smooths into your skin and it really does blur out the look of pores. I wouldn't say it completely fills them in and a lot of people were trying to compare this to the Pore Professional by Benefit. This is nothing like this except for that they're the same color packaging. This is um, a natural skin shade right there. I kind of just paused with <laughs> <laughs> I was overthinking. Um, this is a skin color, as you can see right there. And it is a lot more creamier, softer, and not as thick. And I feel like this, uh, the pore professional, really does fill in your pores. And you just kind of pat them in there, and it really does fill in those pores. This doesn't fill them in as much as it blurs them out. So there is a big difference between these. A lot of people are saying that this is a dupe for this, and it's not a dupe. Uh, this works wonderfully on the pores and just really fills them in and that's what I use this for. This is more of a dupe of Smashbox Famous Photo Finish Primer. That's what this reminds me of. It's really thick silicone. It just kind of gives you a really soft blurred effect and just gives you a smooth canvas to do your foundation on. So I would definitely say that this is not a dupe for the professional, but it is a great drugstore um, primer find. So definitely try it out and let me know what you guys think or if you've already picked it up, let me know what you think. That being said, I do like it and it only brings 0.67 fluid ounces for six 99 which is what I um, paid for it That being said, um, I do like it. I really like the way it makes my foundation last it um, Helps prolong the wear of it and also gives a smooth canvas for my foundation but I have a Fine that I always use that I absolutely love which is the Monistat Chafing powder gel and this is something that I always keep it's a staple in my makeup collection just because it's $6.99 and this comes with 1.5 fluid ounces so it's triple the amount that you get of the baby lips and it's almost identical this one is a lot more thicker this one's a lot more uh, thinner and more watery in consistency, but they basically do the same thing. They have a lot of dimethicone in them, which is what primers use as a kind of silicone base that helps smooth out the appearance of your skin, gives you a nice flawless coverage so that way when your foundation goes on it just glides on on top of those pores and any kind of dry skin you have. So I would definitely say that this is one of the best things that you can find out there if you're looking for a silicone primer is the Monistat one. If you're not really into using something that you're not really sure that is made for 
the face then definitely go with the baby skin but I have had no problems whatsoever no breakouts no nothing using the monostat it's one of my favorite things to use underneath my eyes to kind of just smooth it on before putting on concealer so I would say that these are very similar and um, these are also very similar to the Smashbox photo finish like I said so this one uh, the baby skin like I said is a lot more thicker than the the monostat and as you can see this is the baby skin and this is the monostat the baby skin is completely clear while the monostat is a little bit it looks kind of just a little bit um cloudy compared to this one so i don't know if you guys can see the difference between them but this one is very thick and i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell this but this one is a lot thinner in consistency so but more or less they do the exact same thing um, not like you can see that on my on my hand but they give a really silicone soft finish to the skin and um, really helps prime your face for any foundation so those are my opinions on this I would definitely say it's a good drugstore find um, as far as a primer and yeah, I think that's it. So let me know what you think um, and let me know if you have any questions and I will answer them down below. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until next time, bye guys.